All right, yeah, what the fuck is this? This is, um, Wu Chang, something out of China. Something tells me Wu Kong's cooler, but let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna watch this whole thing. It's 18 minutes. I'm assuming this is Unreal Engine. Wasn't Wukong Unreal Engine? It's Unity? Honestly, man, as the years pass, like, Chinese games are gonna be more and more naturally seen on Steam and shit, you know? There's like a lot of big Chinese dev studios that are like trying to make fat titles and being way more accessible to like uh, Western audiences. They all look pretty, but soulless. Yeah, I, I like I said, I think Wukong is like the best we've seen so far out of China. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna I'm forward a little bit. Okay, okay. Let's see some, like, nitty-gritty. I got the gist of it. Okay, I understand. I want to see some combat. Okay, how does this work? It looks, it looks all right. It kind of looks kind of like, uh, you know, Dark Souls connects when you hit something. Seems, it seems more on the Souls end. Even that noise. Even the noise, I swear that was the same noise when you backstab in Dark Souls. I swear there's like a sound disconnect between when, it, like, I think she connects the attack to... Yeah, there's like a disconnect on the sound. I swear. Okay, so I got you, I got you. Eerie vibe, soul style gameplay. She has a big sword, she can heal. Top right is whatever uh, souls you collect, and then you level up. So like my only thing about games like this is there's so many now. There's so many. Indeed a triple A. I think, like, the thing about making a game like this, it's like, well, hmm. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I wouldn't know if I would play it. 
Like, it doesn't look bad. It looks like it's, you know, obviously it looks good. It definitely... It reminds me more of, like, a double-A studio. Kind of like uh, Mortal Shell making their own Souls-inspired game. This is what it reminds me of. Just a game inspired by it, and that's what it is. It's an early build. Oh. Yeah, I mean, shit. Let me see if there's a boss fight. There's got to be a boss in 18 minutes. There's got to be. There's got to be. I bet she's going to walk up these stairs and there's a boss. Okay. Yes, this is a boss right here. She's eating some blueberries, obviously. Oh. like a dinosaur. Actually, it did look like she had like... It seemed like some type of bird inside of her mouth. So that would kind of... Pretty cool. But yeah. Was the oh okay
potential, clearly. It has like cool elements to it, but I wonder if they deviate enough from your like Sekiro soul style shit to make it its own unique game, you know? Cause yeah, wait, which uh, currently in developed plan to release in 2024. I don't know, man. I mean, my hype's in Elden Ring right now, obviously, because it's like, hey, yo, the people who fucking inspired, like, half of these studios are the, this is like the first party title from them, you know? So, obviously, Elden Ring is, like, where the main fucking hype is at, at the end of the day, for a Soul-style game. That's where, that's where everyone's looking at. So, it's like, and there's so many games, like Souls games, that are, like, double-A indie games as well. So, this is kind of, like, another one, but... I didn't see, like, a massive difference other than the fact... Yeah, there wasn't a huge difference other than the main character's, like, female. I mean, that's basically it. It had, like, the darkness of Sekiro with, like, dark... More dark solely combat with a Sekiro, like, setting, I would say. I don't know, man. It was, like, you know... It looked... It didn't look bad. There's just so many lock-on style games out there, you know? I mean, shit, bro, three years for that, lol. I think Wukong is, like, different, differentiates way more. Like, this is, Wukong, oh my, oh my. Like, this game I'm way more excited for. I'm not gonna watch more. I mean, we'll just, you know, I'm, I hope, this game's, like, just seems like, this game seems more like a step up. With a bit of a, with sure you can say a little inspiration from like Souls games, but it seems way more connected combat, way more enhancements and the subtleties. Where it seems like. I'd totally rather play this game. If we're talking about third person lock on style games as well, I'd rather play a game in this style. 100%. This looks trash. Yo, that's why we don't ask you for your game opinions. Yo, Pete Toastman with the 101! Yo, Paralyzed with the 19. Yeah, this you have like... It's not just like swinging a big ass sword, you know? You want to see when you swing the snow pick up. Even the fucking snow falling might move around you because of like how you swing your weapons. They kind of have like those subtleties that bring in more immersion into the game, which is cooler to look at. And so just like swing, swing. Yeah, this game looks so much cooler. Hits don't sound satisfying. Fight a dragon like that, I'd be down. Do the thing with the staff, do the thing. Yeah, I'm down, man. This is this is probably my most hyped game coming out of China. 
This one, this one could be like a very, very nice entry in uh onto Steam, seeing how that plays out. I wonder what's gonna happen. I hope they I hope they, they get good voice actors too, you know? Like I hope uh it's the whole shebang when this shit drops, man. I mean fuck. We'll see, yo, we'll see, bro. I guess we're just gonna see what's going on.